Hey, Steve here. What I want to do today is actually show you a quick rundown of how I do my artwork start to finish. I'm not going to do any design in, it's just going to be simple basic shapes, just to get through this really quick. Now the first thing I will show how to do is make the sharp end points, because I keep, constantly keep on getting asked on how to do this. And if you have a question about it, there is a tutorial on my channel, it's a featured video. So after you create the line, I have my hotkeys to expand the line as Control E. Shift E I have set as a eraser tool. So you'd select this, Control E, hit A, come over and drag the endpoint on top of the other one. Now if you wanted to bring this back to its original form, go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. Now you can toss the stroke back up on that. Uh, I guess I'm a little too thick. Well, it's back to the way it was. But the way I merge all my lines after I've done the process of inking this way, expand all the lines, what I do is I select them all hit merge. Now all the lines are together, solid. And what I would do is create a duplicate, because I always like to keep copies of the original. I'd select all this, go to object, light paint, make. And then um, I do a quick coloring of the actual artwork. Now, beans, I do have a copy of the original. I'll just make another just uh, safe side. I drag that up on top of the live paint group. And in between these two, I have a blank layer. And here's so how I can do some quick shading. Hit N for the pencil tool. And what you do is you draw on the, underneath the lines. That way, anything, anything you draw, on the line is hidden. So it's just a quick way to shade your artwork. Now how I get the actual borders around it is I'd have a copy of I make another copy of the live paint group. And I just select the whole thing. And being it's still it, in the live paint group, I come over here, click that, and make it a solid color. Then I come down, go to object, expand, and merge it. Then by clicking on clicking on this here. I'd uh, add a stroke to it as well. And then I'd pull these back up. But the stroke's not big enough to see underneath there. That's how I get the stroke underneath it. There. I'll show you a quick example for something more detailed. For this one right here, this has already been a light paint group. So for this, this is just a copy of the live paint after I made a duplicate of it. To make the under base with the stroke pop out to the side, select it all. For the fill right here with the question mark, hit a solid color. Go to object, expand, and merge in the pathfinder. Now since that's selected now, you can add a stroke to it. And by doing that, you create that uh, the outline effect around the whole design. So I hope this 
I know it's kind of fast, but I hope it actually helps in a way instead of me getting constant questions asked about the same stuff over and over again. I mean, I had no problem answering the questions or helping, but I hope this tutorial gives you more of a detail on how I go about doing my work. But then again, I appreciate your help, comments, and your support. Have a good one.